Wow. Well, it feels absolutely wonderful. It feels it feels like a hug from my motherland. It feels like a kind of celebration of um, both my Welshness and my writing. So um, I, I, it just feels wonderful. I'm absolutely over the moon. I think um, the, the role of writing for young people has always, for me, it's um, just massively important to provide young people with imaginative worlds and adventures to escape into that also help them make sense of the world they live in and their place within it. And I think you could argue in the time of COVID, this is even more important because um, lots of children are really discovering that books are not just a way to escape any um, difficulties they may be experiencing, but also a way to make sense of what's going on and also a way to connect with humanity in what can be quite an isolating time at the moment. This new category is so important. I think it's essential that we celebrate and really promote children's literature. The quality of children's literature today is absolutely outstanding, especially that that is coming from Wales and Welsh writers. The stories that are coming out are so beautiful and they're so profound and deeply moving, philosophical, intelligent stories that are crafted with just as much skill as adult books. And um, it's wonderful to celebrate this. And um, so to, 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 to win this category when the landscape of children's books at the moment is just so wonderful is, um, it, it's an absolute honor. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, I am incredibly lucky to live um, with, quite, I have quite a large family. I live with my husband and our four children who are aged between one and 14. So um, we can have quite a party just amongst ourselves. So I would imagine we'll have some food and some drink and some dancing and some music. And at the end, as everything winds down, undoubtedly there will be some um, bedtime stories. And um, as for the beautiful trophy, um, we quite recently moved to this um, house. And as you can see, I'm very lucky now to have a, uh, we, we, this room is a library. It's a, a room for myself and, all the family, all the books are in here, and also my desk is in here. So I think that lovely trophy will find um, a home in here. I think we'll perhaps put a special shelf up out of the, the younger children's way and have it on display in here with all the books and the writing things. You have to tell me now. <laughs> Oh goodness, that's incredible. It made me cry now. <laughs> so I'm I'm so thrilled. You know, I I so wanted a children's book to win this beautiful show because it was because it's a new category, and I think it's so important that um that children's literature is recognised. So know that lots of people, you know, sort of connected with the children's book and voted for it. I'm just I'm thrilled. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> The number of because it is called children's literature, but it's for families, isn't it? You know, and then there's also loads of adults, myself included, who read children's books without children around because they're so full of hope. And you know, it, they're, they're nice, especially at this time, to read because you know you pick up a children's book, and even if it has darkness, you know it's going to end with some, something hopeful. You know, which um, you're not sure with adults sometimes. Sometimes adults' books can be quite a bit darker. You know, so we need hope now, don't we?